Welcome back. With me now is Carrie Dillon, and she is here with the latest business report. Welcome back, Carrie. Thanks, Betsy. So uh, fall is here. Halloween is right around the corner. And uh, the Natu National Federation of Retail says that projected spending for this year for Halloween is going to reach $9 billion. Wow, that's not chicken feed. No, it's not. And 95% of those planned purchases are going to be for candy. So uh, it's funny you mentioned chicken feed, Betsy McDaniel. Um, did you know that candy corn is the candy formerly known as chicken feed? I did not. Yes, indeed, and it was created in the 1880s. That recipe was then sold in 1889 to the Golitz Candy Company, and it, it was to appeal initially to the agricultural population of the country. And at that time, in the late 1800s, in the late 1800s, uh, half of the workforce lived on farms. So, personally, I find candy corn to be a little bit more appealing in name. Me too. So what else is going on around town? Uh, there will probably be a lot of that candy corn that is going to be shared at the Halloween party. It's the Trick or Treat Halloween party on October 27th. That'll be from 11 to 2 at the Henry Chambers Waterfront Park. And what else is happening on the business scene? Because I know there's a lot going on. Uh, there is a lot going on. So David Pritchard was just hired by the city of Beaufort as the Community Economic Development Director. He's going to be overseeing planning and drawing tenants to that 160-acre business park. And in terms of small businesses, um, there's been a lot going on. So according to Eat, Sleep, and Play Beaufort, there have been a lot of businesses moving in, moving out, and kind of shifting around. So closed this past year was the wind-up bar. High Cotton, Jolie Home Accents, Indigo Gallery, and Beaufort Clothing Company. Seems like bad news, but it's really not. The good news is, is that there's room for new companies to come in, and many have done so, and they've shifted around. So Paints in Paradise has moved from Port Royal. They're at 206 Carteret, and they're sort of a do-it-yourself art studio, really cool classes. And then they have Paradise After Dark, which is an adult creative night, something to check out. And Flashback Gear has moved uh, just a few blocks to 802 Bay Street. They are a pop culture culture mecca. They have really cool products, merchandising from all sorts of things from pop culture, and a new product that you can um, subscribe to. Monthly have a package of these fabulous pop culture things delivered to your door. And then Hollyhocks Gifts has moved to 903 Bay Street. So there's a lot shifting going on. And as always, support your local businesses and get out there and shop. Well, thank you so much for telling us all of that. Fascinating information as always. And thanks for keeping us in the know. All right. Good to be here.